what's he doing now? Can't this guy find a theme? He's just all over the friggin' place. Don't know what to do. Well, they say necessity is the mother of all inventions. And I'm kind of proving that tonight with what I got going on. Almost out of firewood for the season. I have enough to heat the house, no problems. What's cut up and dry, and I don't like to burn green wood. Well, I've had this idea in my head for a long time to make a waste oil burner. Having the farm, having the farm, we have an awful lot of waste oil. You know, I, well, I've got a 55-gallon drum full right outside the door here right now, just ready to go. So, what I'm doing, is I've got an old wood stove here. Uh, was in our house years ago when I first built it, and I thought, you know, I'll make myself a little waste oil burner. So this is kind of the drawer assembly, if you will. See a copper tube in the end of there, and a piece of inch and a half black iron pipe that I've got welded together. And it's going to slide into this hole right here. There we go. But Jim, that's never going to seal up. Yeah, you're right. So what else I have here? Yeah, let's see if I can get that in the camera. Filming at an odd angle, so you'll have to forgive me. I have a piece of quarter inch plate steel, just a piece of scrap I had kicking around. See, I chamfered the edge of that right there. So that's going to go in right that, just like that, because I want this, I want this burner to be able to sit be able to sit just right. All right. So you also see I have a hole drilled into the into the black iron pipe there. So that's going to be my oil line that feeds into there. There's a really good YouTube video on this. A guy, a gentleman, put up username two Jeffs one. It is an awesome video on this. It kind of gave me the inspiration for it. Of course, I'm not. Not going quite as fancy as what he did. He, uh, this is all automated, all on a thermostat. Excellent job. So you're probably wondering why I have that copper pipe inside of this inch and a half pipe. Come on, focus, darn you. There we go. The reason I have this. I want a clean and efficient burn. I don't want a I don't want a smokestack outside when uh, I'm running this thing. You know, I mean, not that I'm an environmentalist, but I also don't like to pollute. There's no reason for it if you if you can help it. This I can actually set up the flow of oil to it, and I can set up my airflow to it to the point where. Uh, I've got a combustion analyzer out in my work van and I can uh, set the combustion numbers up on there by mixing the fuel and air ratio and get a real clean burn. So what I have for a blower motor is an old heat gun that the blower works on but the heating elements are shot. Alright, there's my drawer assembly. So I have that plate welded on there. Get out of my own way here. Another reason. Reason number 5,000 to build the barn. I need room. So I'm going to throw another bolt right there just to tighten it up more. It's kind of half-ass welded in there. And if you look inside, here's my drawer assembly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple bricks on the bottom there. And I have a stainless steel pan. I'm going to try to cut down here, we'll see how well that goes, and slide it under there. And then uh, we are almost ready to fire. I've still got to make an oil tank, which I have plenty of empty refrigerant jugs kicking around. What happened with this stove, I won't say who did it, my brother-in-law. Okay, I guess I just said who did it. This is a small stove, it doesn't take very big wood. So he, uh, he got a load of firewood, 
one year that was too long to fit in the stove the way he wanted to, so he uh, ran it for a whole winter with most of the fire bricks taken out of it. So it ended up warping some of the sides. And that's why I say I won't burn wood in it again, but it should work really well for what I want to do with it here. So I'm going to put just enough uh, bricks in it to, for one, cover that ash hole, and two, just to hold that pan off the bottom, but that's what we have so far. Let me get the pan cut, we'll slide that in, and uh, be right back. Alright guys, here she is. This is my waste oil burner. Sorry for the background noise, but uh, that guy right there is that little heat gun right there, with the heater elements aren't working, it's a little loud. Kind of obnoxious, but you get used to it quick. I usually have the radio cranked right up out here. Using a different camera tonight. I've been using the cell phone for all my videos and, well, I keep having problems with the audio if you guys can't tell if you've been watching any of them. So, really hard to see what's going on inside that stove right there, but I've got my, uh, oil dripping and there's my temporary tank set up up there just to see how this works but you know I think I may keep that that works just fine and we'll set her back down here so right now it's uh, probably in the teens outside I uh, I live in a wind tunnel, there's no trees around my house. I'm in a field right off the end of Lake Ontario, so the wind out here is nuts. It's going tonight pretty good, and it's probably, uh, probably 17, 18 degrees out there right now, but my shop is in the 70s. Now this is a 16 by 24 building, no insulation, it's board and batten, so the wind blows through here like a picket fence. But. Uh, yeah, so she's working pretty good. Uh, it took me about three hours to make this burner. And I'm real happy with it. It's just an old wood stove I had. The uh, I don't think it's fit to burn wood in anymore because the sides are a little bit warped. Somebody pulled the fire bricks out and burned for a season that way, which I said earlier in the video. I won't name names, but he knows who he is. So anyhow... Working perfect. I've maintained for about two and a half hours. I main, maintain between 600 and 700 degree stack temperature on this, which is excellent. It stayed steady right there. Uh, I do need to put a little bit of a better pan in the bottom of it. It's a really, really thin walled uh, stainless steel pan, and it's already deformed into an oval. But that's all right. That's minor. So there it is, guys. That's my new shop heat. And uh, I've gone through maybe about a half a gallon of oil in about two hours of burning, and it's just been absolutely phenomenal. I tested it out last night briefly. Uh, it takes a little getting used to getting it set up, but put a valve on there where you can adjust it, and boy, it makes a big difference. So, anyhow, that's the end of this one. If uh, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Um, and for those of you who are subscribed and you're wondering what kind of theme that this channel has, you know, you've seen me jump around a lot from barn video to a table to an anvil. To, uh, it's just how I am. I'm all over the place. I am always have 20 different projects going on at the same time. I'm not happy unless I do. But there's never a dull moment. It's always busy, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are the same way. I just like a lot of different things, and doing this channel really kind of uh, helps me to share the things I like to do, and hopefully uh, some of you folks watching, I'm hoping that you can learn something from it and maybe uh, try to do some of this stuff on your own. A lot of it's not as hard as it looks, so enough rambling. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I will catch you the next time.